Today I'm going to talk about how do you make Google breakout rooms using the extension. So first you have to download the extension, go to Google Meet breakout rooms and you can add the extension. In this one I already added, that's why it's saying remove from the Chrome. So after you added, you can see it, the extension will be showing over here. If you don't see it, that's not a problem. Go to the puzzle button and you can find it somewhere here. And don't forget to pin it so that it will be here all the time for you. Now I'm going to start my breakout rooms. Look at the tabs over here. Meet, Rooms, Courses and Settings. I'm going to start from the settings first. So there are two different settings. One is Tile, the other one is Tab. For this demonstration purpose, I'm going to leave it as Tabs. But I want you to play with this and whichever you like, you're going to go with it. Sometimes you prefer a Tile over a Tab. Okay, let's go to the room. There are some rooms already been made. I'm going to delete it. How do I delete that? Click that room and uh, the red minus button will take off and then click that and minus button will take off. So when you want to add a room, you're going to add the plus button. So I'm going to make three rooms. One, two, three. So I made three rooms here. So I'm going to name them now. This is going to be my room one. This is my room two. You can name anything you like, but I just putting room one, room two, room three. After making all the rooms, I'm going to change to nickname. So if I have a nickname, then it will give me all the controls as it would give me in a Google Classroom settings. Okay, so that's the reason I'm doing it like that. So I'm going to use um, some dates here. Maybe I'm going to say 11-11 and I'm going to send room number one. And I'm going to say 2020, 11, 20, 20, 11, 11, send to the next one. I have to change it into a nickname. So it's going to be uh, 2020, 11, 11, send three. Now I'm going to save it. Without saving, you won't be having any room. So don't forget to save it. The blue button will save it. After that, I'm going to go to my meet. And I'm going to make sure I have every rooms have been added. So start the room, I see breakout rooms three. In case if you don't see them, make sure you pick the rooms. Sometimes you may not see any rooms working because you don't have all the rooms that have been added here. So if you want to copy those links, you can go to assign breakout room pre-assigned. You can copy them. Or if you want to assign breakouts ad hoc, this option will give you on the spot. It will automatically assign students randomly. So that's a feature you can use it and play with this. And should you have any questions, please feel free to email uh, innovative.education at ddsp.ca. So let me go here, assign breakouts, pre-assign, click that. And I want to copy all the rooms here. So I'm going to click copy here. So I'm not going to post it yet. First, I'm going to start my rooms. So the reason I'm not posting it first, I want to go to the room first. So I'll be the first person to go in and I want to be the last person to go out. Same rules as your normal Google Classroom. I'm going to join all the rooms. Okay, after joining here, I am having all the controls here. So I'm going to change, this is my broadcast to all breakout rooms. So if I want to talk to my all the students at once, I can unmute and talk. So when you look at the uh, tabs here, it's all red color ones, and it's showing R1, R2, R3. So it's in order. So if I unmute, that's going to bring green here. So all the things become green, so all my students can listen to me. Now I'm going to mute it. And this is a speaker. If you want to listen to the whole class at once, you definitely can turn on. And when I go to my room one, uh, this is my room one. If I want to talk to them, I can just talk to them and I unmute. And if I want the video, I can turn on the video and I can turn off. And then here I can move to my room two. So when I go to room two, same thing. I can listen to them or if I don't want to listen, I can close it. If I want to talk, I can talk. Same controls as before. And this is my room three. So as I move one room to the other, you might have noticed this is also moving. Right now is room two. This pane is also room two. So at any given time, I can see students at different rooms. After all these activities are done, you're going to ask the student to leave the breakout room, come to the main room, and you want to close those rooms. 
Okay, I hope this video helped you. Thank you.